Well, hello everyone, Coach Brenda here. Happy Monday to you. I hope you are doing well and you are blessed this morning. So I wanted to come on and talk to you. You know, we've been talking about the fall season and I've been giving you some healthy tips to get you started during this fourth quarter of the year. We are rapidly approaching the fourth quarter. And what I wanted to talk about today is how you're planning for the holidays, really getting yourself ready for the holidays for this fourth quarter of the year. So let me tell you some of the things that I am doing, and I talked about planning a healthy holiday season. Some of the things that I'm doing is number one, focusing on portion control. Portion control during the Thanksgiving season, the Christmas season, all of these are running back to back. So we want to be prepared for where we are headed at the end of this year. So one of the things that I want you to focus on is portion control and balance. Balance those meals out so that you have your proteins, your healthy fats, and your fruits and vegetables. Having a good amount of these, like I mentioned before, coming up with maybe the butternut squash, the acorn squash, trying out new recipes, adding soups to the hearty soups to the meal instead of cream base, using more vegetable broth. Um, also the healthy alternative when it comes down to having healthy dishes, really coming up with ideas that you can do with your family. You can get everyone that is planning to do the Thanksgiving and the Christmas meal and talk about what we're going to have for our meal and how can we incorporate healthy ingredients in. You know, change those recipes around and add something healthy to your recipes. This will make it fun for all the ladies that are gonna be doing the meal and if the men are gonna be doing the turkey or whatever, having doing the sides, get together and really focus on how we can make this a healthy holiday season. The next thing I wanted to talk about is boosting your immunity because during this season, we know colds, flu, so we want to be prepared. How do we prepare ourselves? Incorporating foods that are rich in vitamin C, making sure you're doing your vitamin D as well as zinc and antioxidants, eating those fruits, those berries with high in antioxidants to help you stay healthy during the cold and flu season. Citrus fruits are also a good source. Nuts, seeds, and leafy green vegetables are great choices to keep your immune system moving. And another thing that I love to use is black seed oil which is good, black seed oil is good for a variety of ailments. So I encourage you, grab some and get started today. All right, next, I wanna talk about staying hydrated. Even though we're in the winter season and it's not hot and you know things are changing, the, the season is changing, you still need to hydrate yourself. Even as the weather cools, Hydration is key because guess what? Your skin needs that extra fluid. It also is a key in weight loss. When you're drinking water, it helps to control your appetite as well as support your overall metabolism. So getting your water, hydrate yourself during the winter months. All right, let's get into a routine. What type of routine do you have for yourself during the season because you know we are putting coats on and comfort foods are coming so a lot of people are not getting outside they don't have a plan for your workouts set up a workout schedule for yourself as the days get shorter you know it gets dark quicker so it's easy to lose that motivation once you get home not to do any workout. So setting a consistent workout schedule can help you to stay on track. So I encourage it, whatever you can do inside, 
you know, during this time, or if you have a gym membership, that's always good as well. All right. After you create this routine for yourself, another thing that is important during this holiday season is meal prep, getting your meal prep in, planning. And I always say planning your schedule. You know, today is Monday. So get started on your list. What am I going to uh, have for the week? So what are my meals going to consist of? So you start working on your meals now. You start writing your schedule for next week. So Monday, what am I going to have? Tuesday. So you're right, making your schedule of what your meals are going to look like for next week. So write your schedule. By the end of the week, you have your shopping list already. And it saves you money because you're not running into the store looking for trying to figure out what am I going to have? You already have your shopping list. You already know what you're going to eat for the week and you can pick up those things. It saves you money. It saves you time. So I encourage you plan and prep your meals for the week. Having healthy, ready-made meals that you can make in a fraction of the time, it's easier to stick with your goals when you have a meal plan. All right. And next, I want to talk about a big subject, and that is getting your sleep. It is important that you prioritize your sleep. How much time are you spending really resting and really getting the sleep that you need? The days are falling shorter, so it makes it easier to establish a healthy sleep routine because it's getting dark faster. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night to help support weight loss goals, as well as to really just help you, your cognition, you know, what you're thinking. When you're tired, you don't function well. So it's important that you get seven to nine hours of sleep. Poor sleep can lead to cravings as well as overeating. So get your sleep in. So these are a few things that I encourage you to do as you prepare yourself for this fall season. I'm excited because fall is my is my favorite time of the year and my goal is to have a happy holiday season. I'm encouraging you to get started pulling out those recipes, thinking about what you're going to have, you know, what type of what type of meals are you going to have for Thanksgiving? Find a way to create healthy meals for Christmas as well as for Thanksgiving. And a note about Halloween. Now, a lot of people, some people don't believe in Halloween, but guess what? Candy is all around. From October until really January, it is going to be a time filled with candy, chocolates, you name it. October is when it starts. So I encourage you to really make, make up in your mind what you're going to do. Set your goals for this season so that when we get to January 1, you're not just getting started. You are already in motion and you have already been doing the work to get started January 1 to continue what you've been doing, which is focusing in on having a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so let's get started. October is coming. You can do this. I'm with you 100%. All right, have an amazing rest of your day. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to click the subscribe button, subscribe today and share it out. Let someone else know what we're talking about. This is all about health and wellness. It's all about focusing your attention on your health and your well-being. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think about what we're talking about. Let's get started this fall. Have an amazing week.